Nicotero here at KMB Effects. Thanks for joining us. There you go. Um, I'm sure, hello. Wait. <laughs> I'm sure everybody asks you this question, but for those who don't know, um, how did you get involved in the, the the business that you do? And you know, what was your first thing that made you say, "Hey, I want to do this"? Well, you know, I my parents were big movie fans when I was younger, so uh, we went to a lot, a lot of movies. I remember seeing Planet of the Apes in the movie theater in 2001. In the late 60s, you know, I saw the, a lot of the Chris Lee Dracula movies. So I saw movies all the time. Um, in Pittsburgh, there was a show called Chiller Theater that played horror movies every Saturday night. And Bill Cardell was the host, who was in Night of the Living Dead, and his daughter Lori was in Day of the Dead. So um, what ended up happening was I just became sort of uh, fascinated with the idea of monsters and buying Famous Monsters magazine and watching these movies and building Aurora model kits and all that stuff. And it was just something that I loved and was really, really interested in special effects in general. You know, in the in the early 70s, you know, with Towering Inferno and Poseidon Adventure, I loved miniatures and I loved all the models and I loved, you know, Star Trek and all the Irwin Allen TV shows. They were just kind of campy and fun and, and uh, goofy, but I, I loved all that stuff. So I just started collecting movie stills and then as things progressed, I saw Jaws and was became a fanatic for that movie because I was obsessed with how they built this giant shark and and then Dawn of the Dead and that was kind of it you know I mean in Pittsburgh it was a small you know if you if you love movies there was like three people that you would probably run into and it would be um, George Romero or Tom Savini or Richard Rubenstein if Richard was in working with the uh, you know Richard's from New York but it's a very small film community, so you put it out there, and then, I, ironically enough, my uncle, who's an actor, uh, provided an introduction to George. So I went from pre-med at Westminster College to uh, Tom's assistant on Day of the Dead in 1984, and, um, and that was it. It just sort of changed everything. And then I met Howard, moved to L.A., and uh, Howard, Bob Kurtzman, and I started... Uh, started K&B after we worked together in Evil Dead 2 and realized that each of us brought different strengths to the company um, and complemented each other. So, the rest, 23 years later, we're still... Yeah, and I did this movie, and then that movie... No. Hmm. Young for those movies. So there you go. Do you ever right. try to say a little something like that you've created or something that maybe the first thing you ever made or... Yeah, you know, I don't. I wish I had kept a lot of the stuff I made. I don't have anything really. I just have photos of everything I did when I was a kid. Um, but you know what? I, I find I don't have sentimental value. Like I don't have sent feelings of sentim sentimental value of things. Greg does. Greg loves to keep everything. He's really the collector. He's the hoarder. They should do an episode of Hoarders with Greg, and they go and then you know they find piles of monster masks and model kits and and props. Uh, I, I don't have any sentimental uh, attachment to anything we, we really do. It's kind of like, okay, we're done, and now it can go elsewhere in a box and thrown into storage. So, um, But uh, for the most part, yeah, I mean, my room is obviously got tons of stuff in here, and a lot of it is because I like it, and um, it's just kind of fun. So. You know, I get asked a lot if there's a project that I, that k and didn't get to do that we wish we had done. I have to say no. I mean, we have been amazingly lucky. We have worked on some amazing films with amazing filmmakers and amazing filmmaking teams. Uh, you know, I think I think the better question is if I had a time machine and I could go back in time, what would I do? If I had a time machine, I'd go back in time and I'd go work on the set of Creature from the Black Lagoon because uh, that's my favorite monster movie. It's my favorite monster, and I still think it holds up. I watch it all the time, and I still sit there and go, that is a badass monster suit. And uh, Greg and I are huge fans of Creature in the Black Lagoon. And to me, you know, that's what kind of started it for me, you know, uh, seeing that when I was a kid and just going, I would love to make a Creature in the Black Lagoon monster someday. And we have uh, a couple times, actually. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm very content with everything we've worked on. And uh, there's really nothing out there that I wish I had worked on because I'm very, very happy and, and uh, pleased with everything we have done.